y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a Stitch Fix Is It Worth It unboxing and try on. I have done two videos similar to this in the past, one with Trunk Club and another with Fashion. So what we're going to do is try everything on. We'll talk about quality, sizing, fit, price, all of that fun stuff. But then I also did a little bit of legwork before standing here. I went online to see if I could find exact items or similar items for cheaper. So I really want to figure out if it's worth your money to subscribe to these clothing subscription boxes or if you're better off just ordering items you like online, kind of styling yourself. I've been doing Trunk Club for years and I want to say the past almost a year has been really hit or miss for me. Last summer, I remember my stylist Jenny wrote me a note and said she was going on maternity leave. Jenny was my favorite stylist by far. I talked about her a lot. She really understood my style and sent me things that really fit my body type and size really, really well. Well, Jenny went on maternity leave and I never heard from Jenny again. So we've kind of been interchanging stylists, trying to find someone that really gets it. And I kind of, I'm not really happy with the service, I'll be honest. So I have five items here. I did specifically ask for summer pieces because we are going into warmer weather where I live and I don't need any more sweaters or skinny jeans or anything like that. So five pieces. I signed up for the Style Pass last month. It's like a yearly renewal thing. It's 49 bucks for the entire year, but you don't pay a styling fee every time you get a box. It's just 49 bucks flat for the year. I will get that $49 credited toward whatever I choose to keep this go round, which may kind of sway me into keeping something. But I also want to note too, the other night Brian and I went out for dinner for Valentine's Day and I found myself looking through my closet and seeing a lot of workwear, but I didn't really have a lot of pieces that I felt like were appropriate for going out like on a date with your husband. I don't want to look like I'm going to the office. I, I want to look cute, you know, like I want to look like I'm going on a date. With that being said, I didn't ask for specifically date night outfits, so that's not really what I got in this box, but they did do a really good job of sending me summer pieces. And if I didn't say the regular styling fee is $20 every single time you get a box, and they do a discount, if you keep all five items in the box, you get a 25% discount. I want to start with what I could find exact matches for online. So first thing we have is this super cute pair of red thong sandals. They are Michael Kors. They have the softest cushion. I've owned one pair of Michael Kors sandals very similar to this in the past. I don't think I got them from, I know I didn't get them from a box, but I may have gotten them from like TJ Maxx or something. I don't remember paying full price for them. I like the red color. I do think that's very summery. Michael Kors, I know from my experience, is a very good quality brand of shoe. I haven't worn, I do have one Michael Kors top, that I haven't worn yet, so I can't speak to the clothing. But as far as the shoes, I do know that the quality is really nice. Also, this go round, my shoes came in this gray zip bag. Typically, they come in the tan drawstring bag. So I thought that was a little bit fancy. <laughs> These shoes are called the Michael Kors MK Plate Thong Sandal. They are in a size nine and a half, which is a really good fit. They are $79. I was able to find these exact sandals on Dillard's website, 79 bucks. So you're not getting any more of a discount getting the sandals from Stitch Fix, but you're not paying more getting them from somewhere else. Next thing I want to talk about for the, for the sake of putting an outfit together so that I'm wearing two things trying on, we're going to do this really pretty red floral type top and a pair of jean shorts. But let's talk about the top first. This is the brand Fun to Fun in a size 3XL. This is gorgeous. It fits so well. I love the flutter sleeves. I love how long it is. I just love how easy breezy it is. And I think the pattern and stuff is so pretty for spring. I love the colors. Absolutely love the colors. The fit, everything is perfect. It's a little bit baggy, but what I like is that the sleeves aren't so open where you can see my bra on the side. Again, the colors like draw me in. I think it's such a pretty spring, like summery type top. Now, if I still worked in TV news, I would keep this 100%. This is the perfect, like ideal top to wear when it's warm outside because it is so breezy and just flowy. 
but still a decent color and look to wear on television. Let's go ahead and talk about the shorts too and then we'll go over prices. These are cut from the cloth denim blue jean shorts in a size 20. They're called boyfriend shorts and they do have a bit of a cuff here. I love cut from the cloth. I think that they fit really well. They're very true to size. The only thing with cut from the cloth is they do tend to get a little bit baggy the longer that you wear them. So I always size down. So while this 20 fits me perfectly today, I would be more comfortable ordering the 18 because I know that it's gonna loosen up quite a bit. I like the shorts. I own a pair of cut from the cloth denim shorts like a boyfriend style already that I wear pretty often that are also cuffed. Funny enough, these didn't come cuffed and I had to roll them. So if they're a little bit uneven, <laughs> then that's my fault. I like the length of these, but I don't know if I need another pair. Like I said, I have a pair pretty much identical to this that I think I got from Stitch Fix. I do want to say too, the more that I'm looking in the monitor at these, I like shorts that are a little bit shorter than this. It's just what I prefer. I guess I could roll them again. Let's see what they look like rolled again. But then you kind of run into the problem of that cuff getting a little bit thick. Yeah, now the cuff is just a little bit thick. This would be a great pair of shorts to cut so that you've got that like frayed hem because I do know they're gonna get a little bit baggy and I like baggy, not baggy, but shorts. I don't, I don't really care for shorts that are tight on my legs like this. This top is called the Fun to Fun Lynette Split Neck Blouse. It is $44, which to me is not a bad price at all. Like I said, I would probably wear this to work every day if I had an office job or if I was still a news reporter. I think it's really, really pretty. But check this out. I will throw up this picture right now. How similar is this Old Navy shirt? Unfortunately, it's no longer available on the site, the Old Navy one, because it's almost an exact match and it's such a pretty alternative. So I was able to find a couple different ones. This one from Castlon is $59. It's not the same color, but it is a very similar print. This one is a long sleeve one from the brand Babo, 1997, so it's quite a bit cheaper, but it's also long sleeve, so it doesn't really serve the purpose of the spring summer type top that I asked for. So in my opinion, this is probably your best bet. As far as the shorts, these are called the Cut From The Cloth Corinne Distressed Boyfriend Shorts. They are $68. I know Cut From The Cloth is a little bit pricier, but as I mentioned, I think it's a really great brand. I was able to find a great pair of denim shorts on Old Navy's website. They are $34.99. I tried to find a similar cut. So the Old Navy ones are called the Mid-Rise Distressed Boyfriend Plus Size Jean Shorts, five inch inseam, $34.99 like I mentioned. So about half price and you can get the Old Navy ones. Now I'm not wearing the Old Navy ones today. I didn't get a chance to try them on so I can't compare the fit. The price sounds great and it would be worth it to order the shorts and see how they fit. But then again, these cut from the cloth if you've never tried it, it's worth splurging just to see if you like it. If you don't, send them back. But it's worth trying. As I say that though, do I really need $70 jean shorts? No. I did get a pair of earrings this go round too that I thought were really nice. Unfortunately, they're broken. Hopefully y'all can see that there's a piece of the pearl still in the box. So while I do really like the idea of a drop pearl type earring, these unfortunately are damaged, so I won't be keeping them even if I really did like them. They are called the Adia Kabur, Kabur Har Harlan Pearl Drop Earrings, 34 bucks. So not a bad price for a really great pair of earrings. I actually went to this brand's website and these earrings were on the lower end of some of the other jewelry that they did offer. All right, so let's talk alternatives. I found this Vince Camuto pair of earrings. They're called the Leaf and Imitation Pearl hoop drop earrings for $32.97, so about a dollar cheaper than you can get them in Stitch Fix. But then this other pair is really pretty too. It's called the Emery Pearl Circle Drop Earrings, and they are on sale for $16. So if you really like the idea of the pearl drop, then you can, you can definitely find a pair of earrings online or even in store somewhere for a lot less than $34. I wanna talk about this bad boy. This lemon printed halter style 
dress. All of those things sound amazing to me. This is the prettiest dress. The pattern and the crispness and it has a bit of string around the midsection to tie it. It's not elastic but it does have a tie where you can tighten it. The bottom half is lined however the top half is not lined which can be a little bit tricky if you're trying uh, to wear this out in the sun, which is what I would do because it's a lemon printed dress. <laughs> I'll be honest, I thought this would be a little bit cuter on. I think the sizing is a little bit off because I've cinched it in pretty tight on the side and it's still not giving me that like cinched in effect that I want. But the top of it is a great size. It's a little bit low in the pits, but other than that, the top fits, I think the bottom half is just a little bit too big. But the pattern is adorable. How pretty for spring and summer. I also love this like high neck option. It's almost halter. It is halter kind of. I just slipped it over my head. The only thing, so the top of this has no lining whatsoever. I held it up in front of these camera lights and could see straight through it. So I'm wearing a strapless bra from a brand called Della Myra. I'm pretty sure how you, that's how you say it. You can get it on Amazon. I've been loving it so much. It's just a nude color bra. It has no padding or anything. It does have underwire. I'll link it down below if you're interested because it's a perfect fit and it's really soft and fits really well. But the bottom of this does have lining, which is nice, but could they not just give us the lining on the top as well? So while I like the idea of the dress, I don't think it's very flattering on me. I feel like I could find a lemon printed dress somewhere else that fit me a little bit better. So this is from the brand Pixley. It's called the Tammy Dress. It is $68. I like this. I think it's too big. Um, and I don't really have somewhere I need to wear a lemon printed dress to. I think this is more of a dress you buy with an idea of where you want to wear it to. Say you have a bridal brunch and you need a dress, then you buy this. I don't know if I just need it to sit in my closet because I may never end up wearing it. Let's talk alternatives. I found a couple of them. This ASOS dress, it's called the mini textured tea dress with knot front and lemon print third $13. $13. Granted, it's not halter. It does have sleeves, but like I said, it's a lemon dress. When you need one, you buy it. I don't know if you necessarily need to keep this dress in your closet. The other option I found is this really pretty one from a brand called Asof. I've never shopped at this brand. It's A-S-O-P-H, but this is called the Plus Size Lemon Tree Sundress, $31.50. It's kind of similar to the ASOS one, just a little bit more vibrant, but the cut seems to be a little bit similar. Both of these quite a bit less than this one that came in Stitch Fix. Okay, last thing that I wanna talk about, I ordered a pair of extras in this go round. So these, are leopard print black lace trim pajamas. It's shorts and a cami. What I like about the cami is it has a built-in little bra. Is that what you would call it? Because there's no padding or anything. It's just a bit of extra lining with elastic to kind of sit right under your boobs, which I like. I mean, if I'm at my house wearing this, I don't really care to have on a bra, you know what I mean? But it is a cute addition to it and just a little bit nicer feature because these pajamas, this brand, I own another pair and I really, really like them and they've held up to washing several times. I really like these pajamas. I think they're very comfortable. I own a pair of Seeing Stars long pajamas, like pants and a button up long sleeve collar top that I wear pretty often when it's cool outside. So I knew that I would like the fabric. I think the size and the top is perfect, but I think the shorts are just a little bit big. I mean, I guess though, if you're sleeping in them, you're not trying to get anything that's too snug. I love the like black lace trim on all of it, I think it's really pretty. I like that it's got this built-in little bit of a bra. I don't know, it's cute. It kind of looks like a romper like that, huh? All right, so these are called the Seeing Stars Lace Cami and Short PJ Set, $42, which is not a bad price for a really great pair of matching pajamas. Unfortunately, I could not find anything similar to this online. I know that sounds crazy, but I spent probably half an hour scouring the internet for plus size PJs. I found a lot 
on websites and straight sizing, but I couldn't find any plus size. Some of them would have a collar and button up and they weren't this super soft fabric or they were long pants and that's not what we're going for. I was trying to find exacts. So unfortunately we don't have a dupe for this, but $42 I don't think is a bad price for those pajamas. Now that I've talked your head off for who knows how long, I do want to point out, Stitch Fix has this deal where if you find something in store, the exact item that they've sent you in a box that is cheaper, they will give you the item for the discounted price. I actually found this out because Brian, he does men's Stitch Fix, and he got a pair of really nice Cole Haan shoes. Well, one of his friends has the exact same pair and said he got them at DSW for like 80 bucks. Well, in Brian's box, they were $150. So sure enough, Brian goes online, confirms that they're 80 bucks at DSW when he sent the entire box back, because obviously he didn't keep them. And he wrote a note saying, hey, I really like these shoes, but I'm obviously not going to pay the $150 when I can get them in store for a lot less. So we got a response from Stitch Fix saying, hey, if you find the exact item in store, it's in stock in your size and it's available, then you can get the discounted price from Stitch Fix and just keep your item. So I think that's kind of a foolproof way for Stitch Fix to keep your business because I don't know anyone that would keep something in their box when the exact same item is cheaper somewhere else. However, they do the discount. So if you keep everything in your box, obviously it's going to be a discounted price. So the total for everything in my box is $293. If I keep everything, I get a discount of $73.25. Add in my pajamas, my total is $261.75 minus that $49 styling fee that I paid for the year. So I could keep everything for $212.75. Now, let's talk about those shorts. Nothing in this box I am keeping because I don't need it. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm looking for more date night options. So I don't need like the workwear top, the lemon dress is a little ill-fitting, the thong Michael Kors sandals I like, but that's a lot of money. The earrings are broken and the pajamas, while I like them, I don't need them. So the shorts, 68 bucks minus my $49 styling fee. I could get them for, what is that, $19? But what I kind of want to do to them is cut them. So do I keep them and cut them? Or do I keep the pajamas? I could keep the pajamas for free. I wish that y'all could tell me in real time what you think. Um, I do like the pajamas and the shorts. Those are the two things that I'm kind of back and forth about. So what I will do, all of the dupes that I found will be linked in the description box down below. I'll also have a link to sign up for Stitch Fix. My final thoughts, I've said this in both of my other videos that I did like this. I get brands in these boxes that you don't typically find in store, which I really, really like. Um, and a lot of times they do those extra discounts to kind of give you an incentive to keep items. So a lot of times it ends up being a little bit cheaper to get the items in a box. Now, bottom line, it's up to you whether you want to spend your money on the box or not. I will say I liked Stitch Fix a year ago a lot more than I like it now. I don't get a box every month. I probably get one every three months just because I don't feel like they're really getting my style so much. So I may end up canceling after this. I'm not really sure yet. I need to go through and really figure out if this is something I want to cancel or if I want to just try a new stylist again. All right, that is a wrap on this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know I rambled for a really long time, but I think it's important to talk about the dupes and things that I could find online because like I said in the other videos as well, you don't want to pay more for something that you can find online that's similar or that you may like even better for cheaper. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.